There we go. Okay. Uh, now, Wait, they have more about the what do you guys think will happen? Wait, what's the reason? What are they going to have to do? That's what we're trying to take. What do you think will happen inside the tube? No, I mean, that's what are they Oh, well, one of the substances, the acid that I have in the bottle that I was born with, is right here. It, it's, it's dropped onto that cotton ball. Oh, so he's dropping them together. They're not physically in, in contact with each other. The liquids are not. Okay, so I have a bottle that has some liquid acid in it. And when I poured, I didn't have to pour liquid out for that cloud to form. So that means that there's particles in the air to make contact inside the tube. Okay, does someone want to restate? Challenge or agree with what you said? Can you say it one more time? Uh, wait, I forgot what you said. What did you say? Oh, yeah. I remember. Wait, wait, but if you literally just open up the thing and the vapor comes out, it doesn't even have to react. Like, the vapor's just going to be there a little bit anyway. Okay, well, so was it the same vapor? Like, I opened the acid bottle and the vapor came out a little bit. It definitely wasn't as strong as the Okay, so maybe it wasn't as strong as when the two years together. Okay. Yes, you're right. So maybe when the fuse is mixed, maybe they can be invisible that way. inside this tube. If you have liquid ammonia and liquid uh, acid, and we know that the gases might form from the liquid, what might we see inside the tube after some time? What do we see when we have the liquids in there? Hold on, where are you seeing it? Well, it's talking with your hands. Like, what do you mean? Okay, well, the gases will combine. So that's what at least we're saying. That's what Chris was saying. I think we're in agreement that gases will combine. You guys have a theory about where the gases will combine? In the tube? In the tube. In the center. Where inside the tube? In the center. Why, why in the center? Because it's going to move from both sides inwards. Okay. Are you sure we're going to be moving at the same out. speed? Okay. What one's faster? I said, what if? Okay, so I'm going to have you guys sit here. And I have you guys here. Have you guys ever heard of the game Chicken? Oh, about chicken. It's related, okay? So if they are both going to play chicken with each other, what does chicken mean? Right, who's going to back up first? They're going to run toward each other. Right? And then... I think someone right, did us so with the train. Chicken is, I'm not like endorsing chicken. I'm just saying that it is a social phenomenon that you'll probably hear about. Um, it's just the idea that like two people will come toward each other with the idea that one of them, like the other person is going to back out first. Like, I'm not going to back out. I'm going to stay 
So if these guys were to start running toward each other, basically playing chicken, right? I'm not going to Okay, so get into this. Okay? <laughs> like really fast. Like, but you said you're energetic, right? I, if I get random, it's going to be from a possibility. That's not what I'm Okay, so the point of this, if I were to say go, and let's say they both have the same power in their life, where would they meet? Show me, show me by pointing to a part of the middle. The middle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move until I'm lined up with most of your arms. A little more. Like right here. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Or this way. Good. Right here. Maybe this one? Is this too far? Yeah. Is this too far? Maybe right here? Yeah. So they run at the same speed. <laughs> so if I measure how far away they are from me, what should their distances be from me? The same. They should be similar. They should be equal, right? If they're running the same speed, they're going to be right at the middle. Yes, I'm going to pay for half of it. Let's give a round of applause. Okay, so the point of this, we can then describe this. Let's say we have, we have, uh, okay? And they're running toward each other. You can say that they both have a speed or a velocity. Right? Let's say Grace has velocity one or velocity B, and Chris has velocity C. I know it seems like physics, but just hang with me. Physics and math and chemistry are so intricately related. Yeah. Uh, because he was doing leg squats with just one so he has one extra beat together. Right? Or extra like tofu. Just one and three. We can make them both easy. They're only steroids yeah. on one leg. So the duration has the same speed without being an angle. Or you can be careful. Okay. Uh, anyway. Same velocity, same speed. Which means that well, how are these distances going to compare? Are they going to be different from each other or the same? They should be the same in this case. So if we're saying they have the same speed, then D, D should equal B C. Okay? If Z D equals B C. And then if they were to play chicken, then there would be like this giant incident right here. Right. So this is what Jonathan was saying earlier. Like, if these particles move from the cotton balls, then according to this idea of physics and speed and range, right? Then the particles should be in the middle. The cotton should be in the middle. Okay. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when these particles play chicken. I have this sped up a few times in this class. And it just closed, you just close the, the stoppers, it takes a minute for them to, to get going. But look for where the mystery cloud appears. Mm -hmm. I'm recording it for later. No, I don't have to pay attention right now. <laughs> there it is. <gasps> Oh, how is this possible? That's actually kind of smart. Yeah. Is that in the middle? No. It's, it's not in the middle. It's not in the middle. Okay. Why not? Why not? That is the question. Why not? Okay. And I will tell you that this is all related to, um, this activity is also described in the book. Okay. On page 39, 
You guys want to check it out? The same two is set up. Except that the mystery cloud is on the other side of the two. Why do you think that is? Yes. I mean, I don't have to pay attention. Well, because you look, look at the image. Like, what's different about this? Learn about this later. You have to look at it to make sense of the It's not going to make sense of the split. They have. Oh, they have the little thing, the little thing with the stuff in the thing. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Like, the stoppers with the. The cotton? That's your problem. Okay, but yeah, they have these bottles that hold the acid in the room. Actually, what you're saying, they're switched, right? They are switched. So up here, the acid is on the right side, the HCl, hydrochloric acid is on the right side. In this example, the hydrochloric acid is on the left side. But it doesn't matter what side they are, it's always the same. Well, well, less <laughs> well, what does that mean then? If, if the direction, or if the order of the of the substances flips, and the position of the mystery style flips, oh, wait, wait. then talk to your group really quick about what do you think that means about like where the cloud forms? Is the cloud forming closer to one of these substances than the other? Yeah. 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 But which one? You guys all agree? Uh, no, well, we can we can figure this out. If you look at the images, I have a whole I have a whole image. 